everybody welcome to Dave and Ray's projects around today we are going to be replacing this toilet it started leaking and Dave doesn't like the toilet anyway so to start with we are going to go ahead and unbox this one and get it put together so that way we have the cardboard to stick that toilet on so if you just hang with me I will start unboxing this toilet so, to put this new toilet together, it's fairly simple. Make sure that you guys can see. Working the camera as trying to do this, so just hold, bear with me here. Okay. So this is the gasket for the tank to connect to the bowl. And the bowl. So, there we go. The bolts will fit right in here and hold down like that. Now, we're going to stick the gasket there, right there. Just set it on there. Once we tighten it, it'll squeeze down those two bolts, go through the two holes. Just like that. I'm gonna hand tighten for now. We'll have to remember to tighten that the rest of the way down. Okay, let's go tear down this box and get it ready to put the, the old toilet on there. Now, every toilet are on these little these little Johnny bolts that you gotta loosen up. Ooh, this one's kind of rusted. We'll be replacing those as well. Now we already have the water turned off. Because, like I said, it was leaking down into the basement. So, we'll be replacing that entire pipe right there as well. So, let's do this to the other side. Okay, now that those are loosened, we are going to want to loosen the water pipe. All we'll have to do is lift this straight up, maybe. Kind of in an awkward position here. I'm sticking this right there. And kind of made a mess because I was arguing with Carter there. So we'll get something to clean that up. And, like I said, we're going to go ahead and replace the Johnny Bolts. It came with the toilet. Those just kind of slide and turn until you find the right angle to get them out. And then the new ones will go in the same way. And then they come with this little these little rubber washers to stick on top. Just to kind of keep them from coming up. And then it's time for the new box ring. You'll kind of see that it's curved and then flat curved in we'll go down like that Right, 
straight. Now, the new Johnny Volts came with these little washers. But I think I'm going to use the old ones because they actually screw on. Now, the new bolts, you don't want to over tighten or you'll break the base of the toilet. But you don't want to under tighten or it's going to leak underneath. So, there we go. Just kind of hand tighten both sides for now. I have a feeling we're going to have to cut these Johnny bolts to get the caps on top. And then tighten them down. That's all set. I would set the water supply line up, but as I said, we're going to be replacing that shut off and that whole pipe. Right there is the pipe that's leading up to the toilet. Now I've already shut the main off to the house and been draining it. But let's see if we can find a bucket before we try to cut into that pipe because there's still going to be water in it kind of a tight spot but I ended up did finding a small bucket that will work let's disconnect that for a second just to get us a little bit more room now with the joint being right here we don't want to cut too close to that so we'll cut it right here in the middle Sorry, we went and got a new cutter. I like mine a lot better than Dave's. It just kind of pinches on the pipe, and all you have to do is turn it instead of trying to tighten it and turn it and tighten it some more. You just stick it on there and turn it. see water coming out so I know we're getting close there we go pipe is cut away we'll just stick this down here to catch the extra dripping and now we can go upstairs and pull the pipe through the floor there's the old pipe you can kind of see they started corroding getting all nasty so we are going to just cut a new one plenty of pipe we'll just have to cut it down to size now we're going to be putting it on with a compression fitting for the shut off so we'll stick that on that on we're going to get some thread tape stuck on me now Dave's gonna solder all of the pipes back together we're just gonna get it nice and dry fitted for him and that's all you do with compression is you just gotta it comes with a little copper piece and then once you tighten it down all the way it sucks all that together Then, try to maybe clean up this pipe so I can see how much pipe I need or okay. and we're just going to cut it off here 
and go stick it back through the floor. And it'll fit together just like that. Dave will solder all of that together when he gets home. So let's go finish setting up the toilet upstairs. Okay, we got a whole new supply line. Kind of a lot longer than the last one. Make sure. Now, you don't want to cross thread these or it's going to leak. But with it being so long, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. Now, the toilet's not sitting flush, so we'll have to shim that just a little bit here. And cut. Definitely we'll have to cut the Johnny bolts down. Or else our cap is just going to sit on top of it. Oop, not the camera. Like that. We don't want that. Now, for a toilet, you can get plastic shims. But I don't have any. So, we're just going to shim it up with this for now. Break it off. And... There's still a little bit of a wobble there. Okay, now we don't have that wobble. And then it's putting on the toilet seat and the lid. fit on there because this is just I mean it just comes right back out so let's go see if we can find a nut that'll fit that okay found a bolt or nuts it'll work there now it's on there correctly Okay, and then it's just sticking the top one. Oh yeah, we gotta finish tightening down these bolts underneath the tank. We'll run down and grab some pliers and tighten those up. And that is how you install a toilet. Now when Dave gets back, He'll show you how to solder those two pipes downstairs together. So Ray, while I was gone, as you guys saw, set the toilet. Now we're going to go ahead and solder up this joint. Put this on and you need to go upstairs. Oh, those didn't have the stops in them. Mm -mm. Well, that friggin' sucks. I don't know where it is. It is on the... 
on the scale. Alright, go ahead up upstairs and turn it. Make sure that it's facing the right way. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah. here. I'm glad I hooked that back up or else we would have a big water mess. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.